Aloha! Beautiful friends, this is Leara coming to you from beautiful Maui. I found a really incredible article called What Chemtrails Really Are, and I need to read this to you. It's very graphic. Here we go. This is by Carolyn Williams Pallet. It's from Rents.com. What Chemtrails Really Are. We are dealing with Star Wars. It involves the combination of chemtrails for creating an atmosphere that will support electromagnetic waves, ground-based electromagnetic field oscillators called gyrotrons, and ionospheric heaters. Particulates make directed energy weapons work better. It has to do with steady state and particle density from plasma beam propagation. They spray barium powders and let it photoionize from the ultraviolet light of the sun. Then they make an alumina plasma generated by zapping the metal cations that are in the spray with either electromagnetics from HARP, the gyrotron system on the ground, ground wave emergency network, or space-based lasers. The barium makes the alumina plasma more particulate dense. This means they can make a denser plasma than they normally could from just ionizing the atmosphere or the air. More density, more particles, means that these particles which are colliding into each other will become more charged because there are more of them present to collide. What are they ultimately trying to do up there is create charged particle plasma beam weapons. Chemtrails are the medium, Gwen Pulse radars, the various harps and space-based lasers are the method. Or more simply, chemtrails are the medium, directed energy is the method. Spray and zap. This system appears to be in Russia, Canada, the United States, and all of Europe. Exotic weapons can be mobile, stationary, land-based, aerial, or satellite. It is an offensive and defensive system against EM attacks and missiles. Excuse me, more like offensive since uh, we terrorists are American government. It uses ionospheric particle shells as defense mechanisms, like a bug zapper shell, against missiles and EM attacks. That means they spray and then they pump up the spray with electromagnetics. When these shells are created, using the oscillating electromagnetic gyrotron stations, it excludes and displaces the background magnetic field. These shells can be layered one above another in a canopy, fa in a canopy fashion for extra protection from missiles. The chemtrail sprays have various elements in them like carbon, which can be used to absorb microwaves. Some of these sprays have metal flakes in them that make aerial craft invisible to radar and to the human eye. Spoofer sprays, sprays like these can be used to create colorful, magnetized plasmas to cloak fighter jets. Let's take that a step farther. There's a couple different ways of disguising highly advanced uh, chemtrail dispersers. One is, is cloaking the object, which you can cloak um, an aircraft of any shape and size and make it literally invisible to the human eye. They're, then they can also conceal and camouflage, say, orbs and these highly exotic chemtrail dispersers with a hologram so that it looks like a plane. A couple different ways that it's either invis completely invisible or being uh, camouflaged with holograms. There are satellite weapons involved. Activists are using meters and are getting readings of microwaves, x-rays, and some other kind of emission that they are not sure of. Maybe a low-intensity laser. They are also photographing gas plasma generation due to the heating of chemtrails by electromagnetics. The technical names for vertical and horizontal plasma columns are columnar focal lenses and horizontal drift plasma antennas. Various size of gas and plasma orbs are associated with this technology. These orbs can be used as transmitters and receivers because they have great refract refractory and optical properties. They also are capable of transmitting digital or analog sound. Barium, in fact, is very refractive, more refractive than glass. What does this mean? 
Someone or someones are very involved in unconstitutional domestic spying, and the entrained plasma orb carried on electromagnetic beams can be used for mind control programming. The satellites can be programmed to track and monitor various frequencies on different parts of your body. These electromagnetic beams carrying the gas plasma orbs stick to magnetic polarity and frequency, mapping and tracking to people's eyes, ears, temples, and private parts. A beam with entrained orbs carries pictures in each orb, just like the different frames in a movie. It is a particle beam that is also a frequency weapon. The satellites download holographic mind control movies, pictures, sounds, and sensations to people through this technology. The Air Force has stated in, in Air Force 2025, now hold a minute, if they've been speaking about it, it means that it's been done for quite a while. They're already doing this. Their goal, well, they've already developed virtual and augmented reality mind control. Depending on how the computer is programmed or depending on the mood or intent of the person interfa interfacing with the technology, you can be probed, bothered, gaslighted, frightened, manipulated, electronically raped or tortured. It scans your brain frequencies and deciphers your thoughts. The satellites track you by mapping your bioenergetic signature, body biometrics, and constantly scanning an area to find you. We are lab rats for this technology and something is very wrong in the military or intelligence branches somewhere because developmental projects in government and military are often so compartmentalized. I suppose someone could be using and developing this technology secretly and without authorization. Then again, behavioral and mind control programs were an authorized policy under McCultra. Our country has a history of, of experimenting on its citizens unknowingly. We are talking about satellite charged particle frequency weapons attacking a person 24 hours a day. Psychotronic weapons are con considered weapons of mass destruction by the UN. Harps can create earthquakes and can also x-ray the earth to find underground military bases, gold or oil reserves. These ionospheric heaters can also operate as an over-the-horizon and under-the-ocean communication system. This system can control the weather or create disasters, as in tornadoes, tsunamis, earthquakes, droughts. Taken together with the Aurora Keyhole through your roof satellite surveillance system, Echelon electronic computer phone sweeps, plasma cloak DOD drug war helicopters and stealth implants, and cameras on the street. It constitutes one big global and space control grid. These weapons involve beams. Two beams overlapped will couple into a particle ion beam that will bounce off of a remote target and send a holographic image back to the satellite for remote spy operations. When you cross two strong beams, you can supposedly create scalier energies. These energies can be used as untraceable weapons for nuclear-sized explosions or for defense. These crossed energies can be used to cause a person's physical electrical system to fail. Or, with a lower frequency, administer a kind of remote electroshock. Visualize touching a positive and negative electric cable to each other on top of your head. Scalier energies can be utilized in handheld military guns and on tanks. They can dead out electronics or cause large electrical blackouts. Scalier energies are practically impossible to shield against. You need lead, ceramics, and a deep underground facility to not be affected by these weapons. Or you need to be up and above the field of battle. People who are working on these issues hear tones and hums. If you hear persistent tones and static, have body vibrations, burning sensations, bangs to the head, neurological damage or immune system damage, are hearing electronic voices, or hearing the sound of, of a plasma, suffering from pains deep in your organs, or constant headaches, 
or experiencing other anomalous activity, then you may be being targeted by directed energy mind control weapons. These weapons could be on helicopters, jets, stealth fighters, or on satellites. Directed energy beams and electronic waves, ele excuse me, directed energy beams and electromagnetic waves can be sent to you via handheld devices or piggybacked in on cell phone and satellite towers. It is, it is possible that someone or someones are very afraid of coming famine and riots due to the ongoing man-induced failure of the ecological system. And they are saturating the earth with chemtrails for large-scale gas plasma mind control. Is this the last grasp for the world's resources? Or are they just control freaks and money mongers? Someone would like to get to that oil under the melting due to the chemtrail trapped EM heat, Arctic. And I guess the third world is not part of this system. I don't think that, that the developed nations are going to let them in on this either. Any country that joins this NATO system will become mind controlled and diseased due to the associated intense oscillating electromagnetic fields, electromagnetic soup, and the poisonous toxic chemtrails. Our DNA will break. We risk the Earth's spin and tilt becoming messed up due to the mucking around with the magnetic fields through this military technology. Maybe it is already messed up. I think that it is. It constitutes United States global domination via NATO and the erosion of civil rights. According to Charlotte Iserbite and Al Martin, there are ex-KGB and ex-Stasi advising our new office of total information awareness. They are the ones creating our new internal passport national ID. And under the Treaty on Open Skies, we have overflights by Russia and German military. Who exactly is flying these plasma-cloaked craft that are seen all over this country and mistaken for UFOs by people who do not know about this aerial deception technology? Obviously, we have another project paperclip in the making. I'm going to pause on that and come right back with video two because I have a feeling that I'm going to end up running out of time. Stay there, stay tuned, I'll be right back with part two.